Hi everyone. Today I am making the Epicure's Cha Cha Chili. So I've started out, I have a pound of lean ground beef in here that I am browning up. It says in a large frying pan, brown one pound of lean ground beef, chicken, turkey, or soy. So I guess like those meatless crumbles you could use. So I'm just gonna get this all browned up and then I'm going to add in the seasoning. One can of drained and rinsed kidney beans. And so I did not have any red kidney beans. So I drained and rinsed a can of white kidney beans in my collapsible strainer. So I'll be adding that and a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes with a half a cup of water. And then it'll just simmer for 15 minutes. So super fast to make this chili. You could also use the steamer. I think you can make the whole thing in the steamer. Probably faster than even on the stove top. But you would brown the meat right in the steamer like this and then just add all your ingredients and cook it in there. All right, let me just open this can while I'm waiting for that to finish browning. And this is lean ground beef, so I'm not even gonna drain it or anything. I'm just gonna add everything to it. And as with all of our products, they are uh, lower in sodium. So it may or may not need salt. I'll wait and see what it tastes like at the end to see if it needs any. All right. So that is looking good. So I'm just going to add in my can of tomatoes, my rinsed and drained beans, this collapsible strainer, you can just pop it like that. Nice and easy, it makes it flat, nice for storage. And then you can also use this as a trivet. Right, that anymore. And then I'll just open my seasoning here with my nice kitchen scissors, my prep pro scissors. Put that on there. And a half a cup of water. Stir that all up. And then it just says to simmer 15 minutes, stirring occasionally. So I will come back in 15 minutes and show you what it looks like. All right, so the chili is done. Nice and thick here. I thought I'd whip up some guacamole to put on top. So I've got some nice avocados here. What are you doing? Some small ones. I'm cooking. And I'm gonna open up my nice uh, prep pro knife here, which has a, a black ceramic blade. Yeah. Just cut these open. Alexa, stop. Oh, it's a nice avocado. A little, I don't really need to chop it, do I? That's the way you take your pit out of your uh, uh, olive, out of your avocado. Turn this off because that's all done. And I'll move it to the back burner so you can see a little better. I'm putting the avocado into my four cup prep bowl here. These, these come with nice silicone lids. Mine's dirty, but I'll show you. All right. And so this recipe is going to be three avocados. These are kind of small, but I'll just do the three. The nice thing about having this mix is you can just make as much as you want. So I've got the three avocados. Oops, I don't want to have the stem in there. Add out. There we go. Piece. Just chop it a little bit with the spoon. More. All right. This one looks nice. nice guacamole. Really good. All right. 
Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna take my ground meat separator, which you saw me use at the beginning of the video to, um, to separate the beef as it was cooking. I like a chunky guacamole, so I'm gonna... It's on the door, honey. So you can use this ground meat separator for making your guacamole, for chopping up your, your your meat, you're separating your meat up as you're cooking it. It's really easy to clean. These blades are nice and easy to clean. Um, you can make egg salad with this. You can use it to use for your um, juice concentrate. All right, so I'm going to add in, it says mash two ripe avocados, and these are small, so I'm just gonna use the same amount. Um, and combine with three tablespoons of dip mix and a splash of lime juice. So we have our four in one um, measuring spoon here, spice spoon. It's a tablespoon on this side, a teaspoon on this side, and a half and a quarter on this side. And these all fit right into our jars. So I'm gonna put the three tablespoons of mix in. And then I have our three in one spatula, which scrapes. And it has a little, a little spoon area. And then you can use it to mix. So just mix this in. reaching for this spatula as my favorite all the time. Alright, and then I've got my lime over here, which I am going to roll. I didn't mention that I have we have our non-slip cutting board here. Roll the lime to get more juice out of it. And then you want to take your two-in-one citrus press, which has a spot for lemon, spot for limes. You put it in the lime side. You put it cut side down so that the juice goes down. Oops, and you don't drop it on the floor. That wouldn't be good. All right, and I'm going to just put some squeeze of this on the guacamole. There you go. Oh, that smells good. All right, and now I have brown rice, which I keep in um, portion sizes in my freezer. I make the brown rice in my multi-purpose steamer in the microwave, and then I put it in half cup portions in the freezer, put it in the microwave to warm it up. Now the package says that a serving of chili is a cup and three quarters um, with 360 calories. But I think a cup of chili would be good on top of the rice instead. So I'm gonna do that on there like so and then I'm just gonna put a, a dollop of the guacamole you can't see my bowl can you a little bit of that guac and I need another spoon I'm gonna put some Greek yogurt instead of sour cream Chili is ready to go. Thanks for watching.